Okay, now the airdrop feature offered by Apple, which enables us to transfer files between the Apple iPhone or the MacBooks or iPads seamlessly within a few seconds or a few minutes. And a lot of Windows users or Android users have been jealous of this amazing feature offered by Apple. Though we had nearby share feature on the Android phones, we were unable to connect between the Android phone and the PCs to transfer the data in quick time. But now things have changed. Google has released the beta version of nearby share application for for PCs running on Windows 10 and Windows 11. This works similar to the AirDrop and enables us to transfer files between the PC and Android device without needing a cable. So in this video, what we are going to do is we are going to compare the nearby share feature with the AirDrop feature. Now first, let's test the AirDrop feature. Here I got the MacBook Pro M2 16 inches and I have got the iPhone 14 Pro Max. Let's open gallery and let's open this particular file here, which is almost about 2.2 GB. Let's transfer this file to the MacBook Pro Pro using the airdrop feature. I'll tap on share. It's showing me the MacBook Pro right here. I will tap on this and I'll start the timer as well. Let's see how long it's going to take for a 2GB file to get transferred from iPhone to the MacBook Pro here. As you can see, it is preparing the file. It took close to two minutes to prepare the file and now it has started sending this file to the MacBook Pro here. As you can see, it's pretty fast. It is just done and it took close to two and a half minutes. To be precise, it's about two minutes, 23 seconds to transfer this 2.2 GB file using the airdrop feature. Now, the nearby share feature. Here I've got a Windows PC. This is the HP NV running on Windows 11. I've already installed the beta version of the nearby share application. When I double click on this, this is the window which pops up. Here we have got a few options, options like receive from everyone, receive from contacts, receive from your devices. You can also select device hidden option here. Let me select receive from everyone. Now here I have got the Galaxy S23 Ultra and I've got the same file here inside the gallery and now I'll tap on share. As you can see it's the same file but it's showing slightly more than 2 GB. Right here I've got the nearby share icon. I'll tap on this. Now you see the PC name is showing up right here and on the PC it says ready to receive. Now the moment I tap on this icon it prompts me to accept the file from the phone. Now I'll accept it and start the timer at the same time. As you can see, we can also see the transfer speed here. It is around 5 to 7 Mbps, which is not bad. It's going almost about 12 Mbps as well. Let's wait and see how long this is going to take. As you can see, it took about 3 minutes 36 seconds to transfer the same file from an Android phone to the PC using nearby share beta application. I actually forgot to stop the timer here. It precisely took 3 minutes 36 seconds to transfer the same file. The airdrop feature took about 2 minutes 26 seconds, whereas the nearby share took about 3 minutes 36 seconds, which is more than a minute slower than the airdrop feature. Of course, this is the beta version of nearby share and we can definitely expect improvements in the future. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to send the same file back to the Android phone from the PC using nearby share. Let's go ahead and do that and see how long this is going to take now. And we can also do the same thing between the iPhone and the Mac. Let's open nearby share and tap on select files. The moment I select the file, it starts looking for the nearby device and instantly we get a notification on the Android phone which prompts us to tap to receive the file. When you tap on that, this is the window you're going to see. It says ready to receive. All you need to do here on the PC is just select the phone and accept the file on the phone. Let me start the timer as well. As you can see, the file is being transferred between the Android phone and the PC, this time from the PC to the Android phone through nearby share beta.
it's taking more time than the time taken for transferring the file from the Android phone to the PC. Here you go, it took about 4 minutes to transfer a 2GB file from the PC to the Android phone through nearby share beta. Now let's get back to the iPhone and the MacBook Pro here. I will transfer the same file now. I will open the options here and tap on share. Here is the airdrop option. I'll just tap on this. It's showing me the iPhone here. I will just select this. Instantly it starts transferring the file here. I'll start the timer as well. Here is a dynamic island showing us the data transfer progress. And this is just insane. It took about 32 seconds to transfer a 2GB file from the MacBook Pro to the iPhone. Let's just make sure that uh, the file is the same file which we have just transferred. I will tap on the options and go to get info. As you can see, it's about 2 plus GB of data which we just transferred. Let's do this again. Let's transfer the same file again back to the iPhone. You can see it's the same file that I'm transferring here. I will tap on the options here and then tap on share we have the airdrop i'll tap on this and select the phone and it instantly starts transferring the file to the iphone as you can see it's quite fast again it just took about 28 29 seconds to transfer the same 2gb file back onto the iphone this is just incredible the airdrop feature offered by apple works like a charm and it is quite fast however on the other hand the nearby share feature is still in beta and it's pleasure to get this application at least now on the pcs to transfer files between the android phones and the pcs the entire pc and the android world will be quite quite happy having this feature on board now and i'm sure this feature will be improved in the coming days and we may see the data transfer speeds improving over time with additional features as well i will keep you guys posted about this if you like this video do hit that like button and if you find this video useful and if you want to appreciate what we do on the channel go ahead and subscribe now this video is not to show you which one is better it is to demonstrate how exactly these two features work and which one is faster at least at the moment that's about it thanks for watching my name is salian signing off Cheers, bye-bye.